Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back today to talk about new makeup releases and there have been a lot of things that are coming out or a sneak peek at the moment. So this could be a long one or a short one. We'll see how long I can talk for. <laughs> sometimes I can talk for 20 minutes, sometimes I can only talk for 15 minutes. And I already filmed like another video. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, so let's start with Alamar Cosmetics. Alamar Cosmetics, I think how they say their name. Called the uh, Spanglish. I don't know, it's in Spanish, I think. So, and I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what any of this is. But the collection has an eyeshadow, a brush, and eye primer. I really like the look of the palette. It looks so cool. It's giving me a Viseart vibes. I feel like Viseart came out with a eyeshadow palette that had similar colors. And it's coming out on 20 of August. The eyeshadow is $28. The brush is $18. And the primer is not written. I don't know how much the primer is. It's not written. But I really like the shades. I feel like it's such a summery shades. Although we're kind of going into fall supposedly so i really like the shades i really like them I feel, when i look at it it just makes me so inspired to use them so i quite like it i like how they look next thing is nars are coming out with a soft matte foundation so they had a soft matte concealer and now they're coming out with a foundation the foundation is gonna be and 34 shades and it's gonna be $40 each and it's gonna be available in September 1st I really want to try the foundation I enjoyed the concealer quite a lot and I want to try the foundation I want to try NARS foundation I've heard amazing things about their foundations and I would like to go and try them and soft matte yes please it's supposed to be a natural looking matte coverage that resists oxidation and helps prevent your shade from shifting throughout the day. I like it. I would like to try it. So next thing is, oh my God, you guys, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Natasha Denona are coming out with a liquid shadow called the Chrome and it's gonna be available in five shades and it's limited edition. When I saw a picture of it, I was like, oh my God, I just lost my mind. And then I found out it's limited edition and I was like, no. I don't like being told what to do. Like, I feel like limited edition are telling you, you should buy it immediately or else you can't have it. And I don't like it. I don't like it. You can't tell me what to do. I don't like it. <laughs> so that's why I, like, I feel like I don't want to buy it. But at the same time, I will lose my mind if I miss out on this. Even if I was able to buy it, I don't know which shade I'm going to buy because I want them all they're gonna be 28 dollars each you guys i'm gonna put the picture of the swatches here they look so good so so good just natasha denona please leave me alone <laughs> leave us alone <laughs> we don't have any money left to buy any of your products i'm gonna lose my mind but if i could buy i don't i don't know which shade i'm gonna buy like, i'm being very honest i don't know which shade i'm gonna buy I feel like I should buy the most unique one, but at the same time, am I going to wear the most unique ones? I feel like ultraviolet looks very nice. Dog bane, dog boy, dog bane. I don't know how they say it. That looks nice. Infra nude looks nice and dragonfly. Sarakap? Sarakap? I don't know what language that is. I feel like that's something I would never be able to wear because I am a chicken when it comes to my makeup. So... I want it so bad. I'm gonna lose my mind. <sighs> it's makeup. Calm down. It's makeup. Supposedly, the Infra Nude changes from nude to burgundy to greenish, dragonfly from fuchsia bronze and greenish gold, dog paint from warm red, golden bronze, greenish gold, and then scrub from green, gold, and blue, ultraviolet from violet, gold, and green. All of them turned green. I don't like green on my eyes i don't think dragonfly i feel like and the nude shade looks the best i feel like the shades that i would even the dragonfly dog one looks okay i don't know 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you guys. I really like all of them. And if I could buy it, I would. But it's expensive and I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Next thing is going to come out from Juvia's Place. So they came out with like a mini, like the beginning of the year. And they're going to come out with more shades. So the sweet pinks, the tops, and the mobs. Quite like them. I've never tried Juvia's Place eyeshadow quality and I've heard amazing things about them. They're gonna be, how much is it? $14, that's so good. So $14 for six shades. I've heard amazing things about their quality. So, but I've never, I don't know why I've never tried their eyeshadow. I really don't know. Let me drink some water. Stay hydrated. There's nothing I hate more than drinking water and then having the lipstick on, on my water bottle. I hate it. Makes me want to throw up. <laughs> I love water. Anyways, the palette looks really, really nice though. And if I could buy, I would probably buy the pinks because you guys know me and pink. I feel like the tops are way too cool tone for me. I am not a cool tone kind of person, so probably not, but they look amazing amazing okay next thing is color drain and they're gonna come out with a juicy boost collection so it's gonna be a same palette but in different packaging i think one of them is gonna be like in a booklet and the other one is gonna be like like the normal eyeshadow palette packaging i uh, okay as i said before i am not that creative with my makeup or maybe i haven't but i've said like i'm not creative with my makeup you guys know this like today maybe a little bit but again i'm not that creative but they look so so good like i don't know i just feel like i like them like, i like them a lot the palette is gonna be both of them are going to be 52 dollars which is quite a lot of money and it's gonna have 18 shades three high intensity reflect dazzlers and 15 uh, mattes they look so good I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Would I ever wear these types of shades? Kind of not, not really. But I quite like them. I really like them. And if I could buy it, I would probably buy the flat one instead of the, the book. Even though I've heard like people say that the book is good for, for people who struggle to choose which shade to use with other shades. So this is kind of like a color family separately. I don't know i feel like it's too bulky for me but either way i don't think i'm gonna buy it i haven't bought i don't want to buy any more eyeshadow palettes i feel so like i don't like i don't like so many things i do I, I hate it like sometimes i just want to pick my room up and throw it in the trash because i feel like i have so many things and i feel overwhelmed so i don't want to buy any more palettes because <laughs> i cannot i cannot i have like i have enough eyeshadow palettes in my collection i don't need any more but it's just i don't know i don't know i need a break <laughs> i need a break from the eyeshadow palette okay next thing is oh my god i like this so fenty beauty are coming out with three different shades from their lip balms and also a brow wax that is like in a pencil form looks so cool i would like to try that and a liquid lipstick which came back because they came out with the, the shade and like i think in christmas time so so now they it's like permanent i think they have two different colors mascaras and two different eyeshadow palettes so the mascaras is in burgundy and forest green they look so cool i would like to maybe have some <laughs> and also two eyeshadow palettes one one of them is called money and the other one is called wine i have heard mixed reviews about their eyeshadow quality so i have never tried their eyeshadow but i've heard mixed things some people say they like it some people say they're not that good so i don't know but i really like the wine if i ever wore green i would like to try it but i don't wear green i've never worn green and i don't want to wear green <laughs> so yeah i would like to try their lip balm and also the wax eyebrow wax what is my hair doing it's like sticking to the let me come closer to you guys and i feel like the wax it's such a cool idea very different 
I've never seen a wax in a pencil form so yeah keep it for Fenty Beauty to come out with an amazing product am I right? I love Fenty Beauty so much anyways I wish they'd have me back but kinda hopefully one day anyways you guys be ready we're gonna talk about that <laughs> so they're coming out with the mini version of the rose decadence decadence i don't know how to say that but the rose decadence eyeshadow palette so you guys know they have now two rose kind of like big eyeshadow palettes one is divine rose number one and divine rose number two and this is like the mini one <sighs> i want it so bad i want it so so bad this is gonna be like a whole collection so they have an eyeshadow palette 65 dollars god 65 dollars for six sheets yikes okay an eyeshadow palette and then they're gonna be six lip fetish divine lip shine lip fetish astral and then lip fetish sheer color and then a prima gel ultra lip pencil in 10 shades i would like to try their lip pencil i've heard amazing things about their lip pencils and i would like to try their color shine sheer color lipstick um i feel like it's the right time to try like a, a sheer lip and i like how it, it makes my lips look hydrated when they're not oh my legs i was sitting on my legs and now i can't feel them but yeah i like the palette but i don't think i'm gonna buy it i will wait until it's maybe on sale but if it was on sale maybe in like november with or december if they do like um what's it called boxing day sale or black friday if they do a sale i'll probably buy the big one instead of like the, the small one because i've heard transformative like shades like the unique shades that she only like has like Pat McGrath and she only puts them in like big palettes she doesn't put them in like the smaller ones and I only have like one smaller one and it doesn't have it so I would like to try that shade because everyone talks about how amazing they are so I would like to try the big one I would probably if if but I don't know if I will be able to afford it but if it's a good sale I think I would like to try it but yeah I'm not gonna buy it at the moment because $65 is a lot to pay for an eyeshadow palette especially for six no sir <laughs> no 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 not today okay next thing is our glass are coming out with like a, a collection called at night and they're basically taking like one shade and having different kind of products so they have a lip treatment oil a blush and a lipstick and i like i like the color of the blush like a lot it's like a red dark red Ugh, i like it i like it it's such a perfect time to come out with like a red blush because say it with me winter and fall can't wait for that and it's gonna be available in august 12 is there any pricing no no i would like to try their blushes from hourglass but i think i would buy like the smaller ones the travel size ones because i've heard that their blushes are glowy and i don't like glowy blushes but i would like to try their formula so i'll probably buy like like travel size to try it and maybe one day i like glowy blushes and plus who finishes a blush that's kind of impossible so i would like to try their blushes and it's only going to be available on their website so if you're interested in <laughs> it's going to be available it should be available by the time you're watching this yeah it should be available i'm filming this on august 19th so 100% available i don't know if it's still available is it out of stock i don't know but yeah next thing is two Faced are coming out with an eyeshadow palette and a liquid lipstick and the eyeshadow palette is called the pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette and there's gonna be a pumpkin spice melted matte longwear lipstick i've never been a pumpkin anything ever in my life <laughs> but i've heard that Too Faced eyeshadow can sometimes be good and sometimes can be bad but i've never tried their eyeshadow formula and i don't want to try their eyeshadow formula for this palette because it's not making me want to try this it's not making me want to 
it's not inspiring me at all whatsoever i like it i'm like yeah that's an eyeshadow palette that's it <laughs> but if you like the colors it's gonna be available it's available now so at 70 dollars oh it's gonna be in a set actually the eyeshadow and the lipstick are gonna be together and it's gonna be 70 dollars if, if you are interested in it and it's only gonna be in hsn hsn i don't know what that is but yeah i really don't like it it's not for me next thing is color pop they're coming out with a collection called sunflower lovers it's gonna have a, an eyeshadow palette called Lil ray of sunshine a cream gel liners a super shock duo and ultra glossy lips and a shimmering dry oil and also a glow up oil from fourth ray beauty i like the shades of the palette i don't know i feel like it's too basic what do you guys think it's gonna be available soon but yeah i don't think it's for me even though i like the shades and it's kind of like maybe a little bit different but maybe if i like look at my makeup collection i'll probably have the similar shades i don't know i'm not interested in the shades at all and it's all matte as well so if you're interested in it keep a lookout on colourpop go for the trend mode because she will have that information for you next thing is charlotte tilbury are coming out i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so tired she's coming out with the pillow to push up mascara but imagine how tired we are imagine how tired we are of it what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i'm so tired of pillow talk i am so 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 i'm so tired i am i'm losing my mind i don't know why i don't understand i don't understand charlotte tilbury's obsession with pillow talk why is a mascara called pillow talk is it gonna be pink because the pillow talk collection all are like very pink the packaging is pink and that's about it <sighs> i'm so sorry charlotte tilbury i'm sure your makeup products are amazing i'm so sorry but I'm kind of tired of the pillow talk at the same time i'm sure so many people out there are so in love with the pillow talk collections so i don't want to i don't want to be too mean <laughs> if i don't like something it does not mean someone else doesn't enjoy it but yeah um it's gonna be coming soon and it looks okay it's a plastic brush yeah that's it <laughs> Next thing is Urban Decay are coming out with a new foundation. It's a tinted glow hydrator. I feel like people are gonna go crazy for it. It's called Stay Naked Hydromania, a tinted glow hydrator medium coverage up to 24 hours wear. I don't know why, but I feel like people are gonna go crazy for it. Like this is where Urban Decay does amazing things. It's their base products. Their base products, people go insane for. So I think people are gonna enjoy this but with me and my oily skin keep this away from us no thank you we don't like looking like we are super wet normal foundation does that for us so we don't need a different foundation to give us a glow <laughs> our face does it quite enough thank you so much i don't want to make this too long because the last time i did this it was like a 30 minutes video that was so long and you guys seem to enjoy it but I don't know i feel like i cannot do this for you guys multiple times did i talk about this i don't think i did anastasia came out with a lip scene scene and it's a new lipstick formula very lightweight pigmented that would add tint to your lips it dries completely matte i like it you guys i like it a lot but i just feel like the shades are too pink for me even though like black cherry looks amazing rosewood looks amazing i want to see more people using this before i buy it but it looks really really nice i've never tried a lip stain and i feel like they are very comfortable and if you have dry lips maybe this would be a way to have a matte lipstick without your lips looking so dry but they look really really nice i was so surprised when i saw it from anastasia i was like oh my god the packaging looks so good and the shades are very pink but i just did not see it coming from anastasia beverly hills but i really am interested in this like i would like to try this and it's gonna be 18 dollars and they also are gonna have like a brow pen and it's gonna be 22 dollars i don't like doing that 
my eyebrows as you can tell are already thick enough i am middle eastern and our eyebrows are thick and black <laughs> i don't need a brow pen but if you do it's available to buy next thing is dominique cosmetics again multi-chrome thing she's gonna come out to it's available <laughs> of the beautiful mess collection it's gonna have six different shades liquid eyeshadows and the shades are amazing one is gonna be matte and the rest are like shimmery electric soul like they're all like multi-chrome i like them i like them a lot daydreamer is supposed to be a brown copper with gold shimmer pretty wild is supposed to be orange golden green multi-chrome wow that looks amazing i would like to try that electric soul is purple green multi-chrome shy girl is mauve matte by b vixen is purple with pink shimmer not that interested in that cold heart is echo with gold shimmer i think i would like to try pretty wild the orange and gold green multi-chrome daydreamer is also daydreamer although no i feel like daydreamer is very basic and i can do that with my eyeshadow palettes but i would like to try the orange and golden green multi-chrome pretty wild I think it looks amazing people are going crazy with the multi-chrome products okay next thing is burberry are coming out with a face palette each palette contains six shades a contouring cream a powder duo a blush and a highlighter powder so one is cream one is powder and one of them is more cool tone and one of them is more warm it's available now in europe if you live in europe i like the packaging although in the pictures they look dark enough but i'm sure when you buy it you're like uh that is not something for me <laughs> and it's gonna be oh my god it's gonna be 62 dollars you guys that's a lot of money it's burberry it's burberry it's a designer brand of course but it looks nice i feel like the warm one is really nice the cool tone one is also nice but the warm one is calling my name but i'm not buying it 62 dollars no sir okay ace beauty are coming out with an eyeshadow palette the nostalgia palette by ace beauty it contains 15 shades with different finishes it's available at the moment and it looks so good <laughs> it looks like summer in a palette and it reminds me also of the color drain palette but maybe with more shimmers no actually the color drain also had three shimmers this also has three shimmers and rest are matte i don't know ace beauty sometimes a brand that i have heard mixed things about sometimes their eyeshadow quality is good and sometimes they're not so good so who knows most brands are like indie brands don't ship everywhere and when they do it's quite a lot of money so i don't know if i will ever try them because again the shipping it's like sometimes i go and check and like the shipping price is more expensive than the pilot and i'm not spending so much money on and shipping that's not what i want to do i would like to try them one day if they get bigger maybe so the shipping can maybe get less expensive maybe maybe one day morphe are coming out with like a different sister brand and it's called morphe 2 is gonna have a hint hint skin tint a cheek and lip mousse a jelly shimmer a gloss pop and a lip oil and a brush not for me i feel like this is this product are for younger people and i'm not young <laughs> i'm not i'm young i'm young but i'm not a teenager so <laughs> i feel like this is for teenagers you know like the people who have amazing skin and want to do makeup but they look okay i don't know i've seen videos of people using them and they are very very sheer everything is very sheer so if you like sheer products morphe has your back and it's not that expensive actually maybe you decide i don't know your <laughs> financial situation so you get to decide how expensive or not expensive they are but not for me i don't want to buy anything from this brand Huda beauty are coming out with a highlighter and it's called the nymph all over highlighting powder in one shade and it's gonna be huge i think i'm the only one that's not interested in this 
everyone I seen talk about it, like, oh my god, it looks so nice. I look at it and I'm like, I'm not nothing, <laughs> nothing. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it's not like. Even though I like highlighters, I have no idea why I don't want to buy it. Even though that's always a good thing when you don't want to buy something. It's just, it's not for me. It's not for me. Maybe for you. Apparently, it's like 10 centimeters in diameter and nearly 4 inches. Yikes. That's a lot of highlight. And I think it's going to be limited edition as well. I don't know what's available now to buy. And it's going to be exclusive to Huda Beauty. And you can use the code trend mode to get 10% off if you like it. Next thing is Viseart are coming out with two or ca came out, is it? Yes. They came out with two eyeshadow palettes, the Petite Pro palette in Midsummer and Solte Soltis, Soltis. I don't know how to say it. It's not for me. It's very, 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 very light. And I'm not light, so not for me this palette even though the shades are nice it would be way too light on me way too light i would like to try their eyeshadows i've heard amazing amazing things about their eyeshadow quality one day i would buy some but these palettes are not them <laughs> pure are coming out i don't like this palette <laughs> pure are coming out with a collection called the anti-pollution collection and it's gonna have an eyeshadow palette anti-pollution Moisturizer and a mask and a mask and a liquid liner. <laughs> I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought there was only like two things, even though in the picture you have more than two things. But uh, apparently I can't count. Anyways, no. <laughs> I don't like the shades. They seem so like turned down. Like I feel like someone took this picture and turned it off. The saturation way too low. No, I don't like it. Maybe you like it but it's not for me and it's available now the palette is 34 dollars the moisturizer is 34 and the mask is 24 and the mask is 28 and the liner is 19 dollars this is maybe the last thing it's 35 minutes now i don't know but m cosmetics are coming out with new serum blushes i would like to try them another brand that i tried to purchase from and then i looked at the shipping price and i was like no sir <laughs> no sir <laughs> the shipping is more expensive than the products but i would like to try their blushes oh my god they look so amazing don't they i would like to try them all and they're 25 dollars each one is called peachy peen which is a peach <laughs> next is vinny time vinny time rose a rosy nude little lilac a lilac and, and cherry splash which is a red it's available to buy now sorry i have this in my hand because i'm sweating so much but it's available to buy now if you live in the us lucky you because you can buy this without paying so much money <laughs> i have to pay a lot of money to buy this and i'm not going to until like maybe they have like a free shipping maybe then next thing is another color pop collection because color pop and the collection it's not so they're coming out with a wild nothing or they came out with a wild nothing collection and it's gonna have an eyeshadow palette a cream shadows lip oils a blush and a jelly match shadows and that's it i saw the picture of this palette i was like oh my god they look so nice but then i saw another picture and i was like oh my god <laughs> they're so light <laughs> they are so light their product is basically like saying white only <laughs> but no it's way too light for me and they don't ship here so not buying it don't wanna buy it i'm good oh my god this product i've heard so many good things about bh cosmetics came out with a collection the sweet shop collection and it's limited edition i don't know if it's still available but it's monochrome palette and six sheets so you have sugar cone, sorbet, orange, cherry on top, cotton candy, bubble gum, and pistachio. And they look amazing. They look so good. Everyone who tried this said their quality is so good. And I would like to try it if it's still available. Beach Cosmetics actually does not ship here because, again, I don't know, countries hate us. They hate us. 
that's okay you can hate us all you want <laughs> it's fine but i would like to try maybe not the blue not the green and maybe not like the shade not the pistachio not bubble gum that's cotton candy but maybe like cherry on top and sorbet orange and like the brown maybe maybe it's how much is it 18 dollars each not too bad not too bad so if you like it and it's still available go and try it out because it looks amazing and i've heard amazing amazing things from it another thing is Too Faced are coming out with the born this way matte foundation so they have the born this way like foundation which is very glowy in my opinion for my skin but they're coming out with a matte one and it's available now and it's gonna be in 35 shades and i'm not buying foundation at the moment maybe maybe i would like to try foundations but not this foundation i don't care about two face foundations actually and yeah uh, it looks fine it looks fine if you want it it's available to buy and lastly i'm gonna talk about the pat mcgrath mascara called dark star mascara i would like to try them i've heard amazing things about their mascaras and i want to try their mascaras when they're on sale <laughs> not today when they are on sale maybe but it's available now to buy if you want it and that's it 40 oh my god 40 40 minutes oh my god something is in my eye let me see i have hair in my lower lash line that is growing inside my eyes and it's the most awful thing i've ever experienced in my entire life Ugh, i hate it anyways that is it for today's video i hope you guys had fun watching this if you would like to tell me what you're excited for, you can. If you don't want to tell me, I'm hurt, but I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to hear from you if you would like to tell me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching a, maybe 30 minutes or maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. A video of mine which, where I rambled for a very long time. I will see you in my next one probably soon bye